Welcome back everyone to another video. Today we're going to be taking on Apex Chess in a unrated 10 plus O oh, game. We're going to do a couple games here and we're going to start off with our London system, but we have been challenged by someone in one of his streams to play a game together. So you're going to see both of our reactions here. I have room for mine and his, you'll see in a second. So you're going to watch both of our reactions to our moves throughout the game we're not gonna let him know so he's playing king's indian london so theory i stuff. don't normally play joe baba london in rapid games because i don't really know theory so eh, we're not gonna risk it we're just playing okay, normally so just like against a king's indian style setup normally you're supposed to be like joe baba london go knight here get a battery here castle this way but because i'm so unfamiliar with that I'm just not going to risk it in a 10 minute game. In like a Blitz or a Bullet, I would totally I play really it. Quite but want a castle just yet. Because I don't know any theory, then I don't want to risk play that. go ahead and play D6. So this, and then he'll play something like Knight here, Knight here, Bishop out here, castle this way. Okay, he brings out the Bishop. But I don't. Uh, I just got to watch the center here, as long as I don't give up this pawn. Because a lot of times that can happen. If you're just playing the London nonchalantly, you're not paying attention. Especially when there's like a setup like this with the move d6. A lot of the times this move gets played and you end up like f having to go back and then. Um, it looks so like I he think wants I'm to okay castle. castle. Kingside? So maybe we can utilize the g file. I'm just going to castle. No, he decides not to. Not because to I just want to. Um, so we could. Trade take. that bishop is fine with me because it doesn't do much anyways along this diagonal because of the fianchetto here. So I'm just going to keep it like that. We could also now develop the queen up, which would protect. And I don't know what I'm going to do next. I might go knight out here. I don't want to do knight out here in case they're still looking at each other because, you know, I lose a bishop. But go c3. Uh, I don't know about c4. I don't think c4 Let's is go good ahead against and do that. Um, King's Indian. I could take. You can jump here, which seems a little I bit I could annoying. go c3. could go queen here and then knight here. But I think um, it's fine. Do I want to take this bishop? And if we can develop our knight, maybe we mm. castle long. Sure. Yeah, you know so what? he goes Take ahead the and bishop. Takes. We're going to put the knight here. Unless I want to put it here. Is the knight better? Normally, it's, it's better on c3 against this. But is it better right now against it? That's the question. I take control of this square. But do I want to block my c I don't know if I want to castle my king that way. But I also, also want to develop my knight to d7, but I don't want to get my queen mm. trapped. Why not? If it's wrong, oh well. We're gonna go here, here, something. I could trade and get these pawns. They're doubled, but nah. I don't know. I don't know if I like or that. Put knight in the center, or stop me from doing that. He's also just developing. Probably no need to overanalyze. I could that. go rookie one and then threaten to push the pawn and then just rip it open by going e4, e5. Maybe we just bring the queen back. It might be a little passive. But... Okay, so he slides back. I don't like so. Where it is. So let's fix it. I might go h3 just in preparation for this so that I can get rid of this bishop and then do something like this. Although I can do this now because there is no queen here attacking this and there's only one attacker on here. Because I feel like h3 is too slow to now try I and know move the bishop back. His strategy is probably going to be to play fast and then in the end maybe flag me if that uh, if it comes down to that. Because he is a phenomenal speed chess player. Do I want to open up like that? He hasn't castled yet, so if he does that, I might take with the F pawn. Because he hasn't castled yet, and he might just leave this rook open here. Try and get rid of it with some pawns here. So now let's go here. We're attacking. Yeah. So that's what I figured. Um, He'll probably slide back. So do I want to just defend? If I defend, he might just like try attacking it anyways. In which case I have to slide back. But I could slide up and defend it this way with the queen and force him to take. But then I kind of lose sight of this pawn and back here. And putting pressure here I feel like doesn't do a whole lot. You know what? Let's do... Okay, so he, he does opt to do that. We're gladly going to take that. So he takes like that, I figured. He might nah. just do this. He could just go h5 immediately. I don't think we want to go that for that just yet. Let's develop our knight. So he does that. And plan to go along. Okay. So I go here. If I go e5 and it takes, takes, I think I lose a pawn that way because I only have one attacker. If I go here, here. But I think we can just play e6 if he moves the knight. Ooh. 
Obviously, I want a castle. I could go here threatening this pawn. But we don't want to hang the pawn. And then if the he... Pawn. So. Blocks. I don't think that's a good move, though. Because if I go here, threatening to win this. And if he just... If he does this, then I'm forced to go back. But I feel like inducing that could be fun. You know what? Um... Let's yeah, kick this I knight. I thought he was going to go for that push, but I, I'm it pretty sure it puts these on light squares this. as well. It opens the bishop up, but and maybe he's thinking like takes takes. I could let him take and take like this, and then I'm just not able to castle. I don't want to go uh, there. That would hang my queen immediately. I'm totally fine here. I think I just don't want to take and fix the pawn structure. But even then, I'm quite comfortable. Let's go. I think here, because if he takes he like this, there. I can go here, and then I'm also. Want to get in this direction as well. Do? Like, you go here, but I just kick him out. There's not a whole lot he can do right now. He might end up doubling these pawns. He could just, like, keep the tension and just castle or something. If he castles, do I want to take? Let's play h6. It goes there. So do I want to take... Just to stop this knight from coming in. So if takes, takes... If takes, takes, I think I like that better because his bishop gets blocked off. But it's takes, takes... I might go here and try to get a queen trade and then it, get my knight in. It also opens up my rook. Here, okay. So then here, here, if he takes, takes, he gets this. But then I think it's better for me. Or I go here. Mm. It's also good to note that our bishop now is just outpost forever. Um, if the knight moves, we can take this pawn. His knight can come here. He he offers a queen trade. Actually, he doesn't offer. He, uh, <laughs> he's forcing a queen trade. That's okay. actually a very nice sequence We'll win an there. end game if we go to an end game. So if I castle <laughs> here, the rook protects. If he blocks, so castle, I take with protects the pawn. His pawn. If he takes, I take back, and there's no knight coming in trying to get win this. Because what he hmm. wants me to do is take, and then recapture, and fork, or win the pawn. So let's go ahead and castle. He castles. That's fascinating. So do I want to trade? I could trade, move the knight, and then if he takes, it's better for me because it opens up this file here. And this king's kind of stuck over here. I also win a pawn because takes... Check. Takes. Yeah. I can take this. So we can take with the the rook, or we can take with the king. I think the logical idea is to take with the rook. So even if he doubles, I, I like this open file. And I can always kind of solidify the structure here in the center of this triangle. Because I pushed it earlier, it might actually be helpful. I'm not sure. Because then I can just... That might be a mistake. Take. Yeah. Okay, and then so I might double that pawn. as well. And if he takes, that's fine because I can solidify the center. And if not, I could potentially get in here somehow. I could start going like a4, a5, b4, b5. Of course, not hanging my rook in the process. Can I go here? And then the rook just has no moves. Slide back. Yeah. So. So um, now I'm just going to try and walk the king over. My rook is a little trapped. <laughs> he might start bringing the king. So what's the quickest way to. Do I want to sack? I don't. Not yet. But if I bring this rook, he'll go here. And if I do anything else, he'll just go, go one, here. Two, two moves and then a third move. So by that time, he should be able to construct something. Because I can't get to this bishop very quick. I might have to end up sacking. It'll be an even material exchange. That's okay. I'm up on time. So I think I think the sack might be fine because I'll win the pawn as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so it's actually so even material and this knight might be more powerful now. But I want to keep the rook. Um, if I go here and here, I actually might go here try and induce this and then go over here and that might be a really good square on this yeah because i can go here but it doesn't do anything so now i go here and then i can reroute over here to this square might be more useful i want to keep this rook on as long as i can so if he ever tries to trade then i move over i mean that would be a free rook in that case but here no like i'm not sure what my goal is here he can bring his king but then i go here and i totally stop everything and then maybe i just bring my king or do I start pushing my queenside pawns? Let's bring the king up. We're going to try and get rid of this rook in the position. Or he gives a check there. And then I can also bring the knight in. 
attacking this so if I go pawn. here. My king's a little stuck here, though. So if he ever gets doubled rooks, it could be an issue. Then what? But I'm forcing him either back or here. Yeah, and then now I'm going to go here, threaten to win this. It also stops him from going here because I now take. Fox this twice. No forks. I might have to go h3 at some point. We can try and undermine the rook, but first we need to move this. Yeah, so he stops it. I can give this check, but then I don't really have a follow-up. So I think now's a good time to bring my king because I can't get pinned at all. And then I can start infiltrating somewhere because I'm up on the clock. I'm not sure what he has because he's going to have to start just pushing pawns, but it's going to be too slow. Let's go for it. We got it one minute. He's going to flag me. So if I go or here. I'm just going to make a brutal mistake. Check. No. Take, take. No, that loses. Yeah, if I go if I go here and then he takes and I take, he gives this check. No, I can't because it's defended. Yeah, this guy's 2,000 in bullet chess. So uh, having one minute on the clock with this guy is not an advantage. Here? <laughs> it's a major yeah, like disadvantage here or for me. Here. If I go here, he can't move because I take. And if I go here and he goes here. No, if I go here and he goes here. We're going to check. Yep. And then here, can't block. Here, here. Um, let's just do this. And then go here. And then bring the knight back. Yeah, so let's start trying to break the position open. We just have to be careful of this knight. So if I go here, uh, I might want to take. Because I would have allowed him to move forward. And I wouldn't have wanted that. Let's bring the knight back here. Let's go here. He, oh, uh, I just walked right ooh. into a fork. Blunder to fork. Low Bro. time leads to potential nights. tactics so now let's try to convert the end game here if he doesn't resign which he might not in which case i'll have to play on and try and convert but i have this check i win this pawn take it yeah let's go for a stalemate so it's hard to stop everything now <laughs> so i go here let's go here push this pawn let's not stalemate um, here allows him a square, <laughs> and then I can go here, and it's checkmate. Uh, wow. GG's. That was a good right. game. Low time does game lead two. to blundering potential tactics, but we're going to go for what round two. What the frig is this? see if we can win this. Uh, we're going to go for our King's Indian yeah. setup. Most solid. It's basically I what he just here. played, except I'm playing it now. It is what I'm most familiar with. So he's attacking You this. don't want to play this, because you take, take, so let's take go the queen, ahead and, and then go here with the knight. Bishop out to defend. If bishop is out, do I just continue with the fianchetto? I don't remember. If the knights come out right away, well, then you continue with this. Here. But if the bishops come out, then I don't remember. Hmm. Okay, so I don't want to take in this position. I'm going to go here, targeting this pawn. Yeah, let's take. Takes, and then let's he has defend, to defend the, pawn. the pawn somehow. Yep. So if I go here, it really solidifies the center, which I don't potentially want, but maybe. And I think we're going to go for a huge mm. king side attack. I'm going to go here. He's trying to break open the center here. But let's go ahead and plop our knight here. Okay. So I'm going to rip so it that open. So we can take back. Take back with the pawn. Takes like this. Develop the I'm knight. I'm going to go here. Okay, rook here. He's probably going to do this. I'm trying to win this pawn here and open up the file oh, because his king develop. still is in the center. Exact. So that defends it. I do have this, which attacks the bishop, but it doesn't do a whole lot. I could do this, but again, it just doesn't do his moves that help him. And honestly, we're probably going to play h4 next move. And if I do this, he does this. Let's let's drop back. Um, Let's go bishop here for now. Yeah, bishop there. It's probably too slow of a move. Let's play h4. But yeah, so then I'm going to respond with he this. He stops it, which My rook can get is over. a good sign for me. A lot of people like to do f3 and then g4 to try and open this up. But as long as you have rooks that can or something that can slide over here to defend, it's usually safe as long as you know what you're doing. If he ever moves one of these knights, though, I am going to win a pawn here, potentially. If he pushes this, then I think I jump into the center with e5. Maybe let's just castle. Let's castle long. Okay, so castles. Get out of any danger. Do this now. It induces this, so I don't really want that. If I go... 
a5, I could just start pushing and then potentially go here. Um, let's go a5. And then it gets our knight in. We might take the bishop, also threatening to take this pawn at some point if the knight moves. We might do this and this, which is what I see a lot. It's pretty common. Try to attack on Let's, let's sack the pawn. Doesn't that just lose Open a up pawn? The or am I... That's That was just the idea of it. Dumb. <laughs> That's all I cared about. Did I miss something? And now let's go ahead. We can't, like... we can't rook lift there. Might just want to open things up because he has this battery aligned here. Takes, he comes here. To try and get rid of some things. Might take with the knight if he takes because then it defends this bishop so I can move the queen. How can I get in? Double defends it. I also might go here. Try and get a fork. What if we sack another pawn just to open up Yeah, if he G takes, files. I could just ignore it and go here and threaten a fork. I don't think that's it. As well as winning the pawn anyways. Going here, we're going to end up trading pieces. Let's push the pawn. Let's attack the knight. Knight's okay. going to go here for sure. So I might actually... Well, let's just go okay. here. Why not? Yeah, it's kind of a menace there. Trade. I'm probably going to lose that pawn anyways, but... What is it? Takes. Yeah, so takes, and takes. Now, Open up the file. We need to move our knight. I guess. Um, I'm going to move this bishop. Move it here. He's going to hit me with this. Ooh. Then move it here. If I go here, I induce this, but it doesn't do much. Ooh. On the next move, I want to play knight to f4. I might go here. He attacks the pawn. It allows him to take. I don't really then care. I can take. Take it. Okay. So it takes. So is he threatening something here? This I take. Here. He might sack everything. But am I safe? Ooh. Do I just want to try and trade? I need to break down his king's defense somehow. Go okay, here. He takes the pawn. But I'm wondering if we have a sacrifice here. I want to get this. Make sure this queen can get in here too to defend. So I remove the knight here. My pawns look a little silly, but I'm up two pawns. So if he takes one of them, it's fine. And then I could potentially go bishop here to defend the other one. It's kind of a goofy looking position, but it hopefully works. So if we let him take, and then I take back with the queen, could that be good? What if we play here? No, bishop takes. Is he thinking about sacking this? If no. he takes, we'll take back. So I might just take and go here because takes takes queen here so takes yeah, he's takes to trade because he's up a pawn queen he's up two pawns actually. here he doesn't have any checks <laughs> my bad so he's probably gonna play this i want to trade time. because i'm up material it also defends this pawn here as well and he doesn't have a dark squared bishop so i don't have to worry about any potential spins or checks from that i don't really want a queen trade be totally honest with you okay let's go here Okay, yeah, so he goes in. So, ooh, I can't force a trade yet. I might want to go here, however. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to give up the pawn for activity. He doesn't have any threats. Because if he goes here, Where's I just the take. Sacks the pawn. So we're going to do this. These rooks are now defended by each other too. And then if he ever takes here, I pin. So I don't have to worry about that. But he might um, take this five or move. We're going to do this first. Try and get rid of this bishop, because I don't like it. There's no there's no check if I leave the queen there, but I don't really want to leave the queen there. I want to take that pawn. Let's go ahead and take the pawn. So he takes. So I'm going to take the bishop. He can't take this because I pin. Uh, I could start by giving this. His pawn structure is not the best. Uh, I could give this check. It still defends. I could go rook here. No, because if I go rook here, he just takes. I might start with this check. And he could infiltrate on the, on the Just to get a end. check in. Okay, so he goes there. But I think we can just improve our position. I could threaten move to here. move like, move the queen, because he can't take here because I pin. So I could attack this. But I think this is fine. Oh, now he can take. So here, just to defend everything. He might go this, kick my queen out. Might try to pin here. I also might do this to try and win these pawns. Defend this, go here, and then try to win this stuff. And I'm looking at a check here, too, if I get it here. Which could be good. I think his best move would be this. Because otherwise I'm going to get in, I feel like. I probably shouldn't have done this. I probably could have started with this. Bring the queen just a little bit closer. 
And if he goes here, we'll blockade. He can't do any of the checks. He can win this pawn, but there's no checks and there's no immediate attacks because my rooks are both defended and there's nothing he can do right now. Yeah, he wants to attack. I'm threatening this check as well. Understandably. If he takes, he might go here, in which case I take. I'm also looking at, yeah, okay. So, no, because if I give up the rook here, I was thinking of pinning. If he doesn't jake, then we're happy. Actually, okay, so he is threatening check now. I might give this check first. And eh, whatever. Screw it. He has oh. to take, otherwise I'm going to win the rook. Oh. He's not attacking this rook right now, and it's on opposite color for my king, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh, he could block, actually. But then if he does, I think I go take. Yeah. But then I think I'm going to go take so it forces his rook all the way in the corner to not do much and then i'm going to start winning these pawns he can take with check but i think i just slide over here afterwards he can start with this move actually i think he could have started with that because if he started with this check i couldn't block anyway or use this rook to defense we could have actually won that so instead i'm going but then to then we still just check and take take here i'm lining this up as well he can take with check I don't want to go here or here. I think I just want to go here because it blocks all potential checks. So he's attacking my rook. He might do this and align his queen and rook, in which case I could take, I think. Let's play this. No, so he Protects defends and defends the pawn. pawn. And rook. No, he's probably going to attack me. All right. Let's see if he spots mate. I also want to maybe open this up a little bit for the king. I don't know. Maybe that's better for him. I am threatening mate in one. So he does defend like that. And then I can push this now. Okay, let's go ahead and kick the queen away. Let's go here, because I'm threatening this pawn still, and I am looking at this check potentially as well. It's threatening my pawns. Mm. So I'm threatening both these pawns, and then I'm also looking at this check as well to bring the, bring the king out somewhere. Because if he goes back, I think I just kind of start shuffling him into the open. So I could go here attacking the I'm also rook. looking at opening this up. I don't think I can sack at any point. I don't know if that really does much, but let's do it. Too much spice. Okay, so... He has checks here, picking this up. Um, That's not good. Let's start with a check. No, because check and he can kind of defend himself. Here. If I go takes... And there's got to be some kind of check. Um, No, he just takes, I think. You can't take. Let's start with a check. Why not? And then I can do the, move this after. I might go here so that everything's defended. Yeah, we just go up. He doesn't have checks here. He can take the pawn, but I would take his rook. So he's got to move the rook. Uh, I might just go here. So it's all defended, and I'm looking at this square here. It's a nice triangle of defense here. Because I might be able to go here. Obviously, we can't let him checkmate me like that. Let's go ahead and defend the mate here. But if I go here, he takes. What if we try and trade the queen off? No, then we're going to lose an endgame. Yeah, we're just going to lose. Okay, so... Um... I think I'm going to... He's also got push. Take. Take, take, and then I can take this. Because there's no checks. I don't know if he actually missed a tactic there. Uh, but he's totally winning here. Check. Check. We're going to be careful. Could block with the Ooh, queen. This pass pawn might be an issue. Hmm. If he blocks... Maybe go back. Let's block with the queen. Let's go. I don't think he can stop the pawn if... No, because I can do this check now. Oh, and he wins. And he can't defend. Pawn. Oh, my gosh. Both things at once. Oh. So I now win this pawn. Threatening to win this one. Now I can go for a queen trade. Oh. Now he can just... All right. Well, now I win <sighs> this. And then this is check and check. All right. Well, now... I just take. All right, let's not. <laughs> I do resign. have two minutes, so I don't GGs. have to speed. But he just resigns. Oh, bro. wow! That was a good game. That one was very close. I had I struggled there at the end, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you want to see more videos like this, please let us know in the comments. Like and subs like and subscribe. Wow! And I'll see you in the next video.